If you're having problems getting your older Mercedes diesel automatic transmission to shift properly, it could be that something is wrong with this funny looking little valve here. I've done other videos on this. I have lots of resources on my website which will help you determine whether this is good and whether or not it's adjustable or whether you're going to have to find a replacement. Keep in mind these are only available used and from time to time we have some good ones available on my website. Let me tell you a little bit more about what this valve does and why it's so critical to the operation of your automatic transmission. You can't get your transmission to shift right without one of these. Because what this does, it, it proportionally bleeds off vacuum. So as the lever comes up, it bleeds vacuum off out this hole and vents inside the car. Can you imagine trying to make something that would do that? And it has to bleed it proportionately. <laughs> if it doesn't, it doesn't bleed it, there's too much vacuum, you're going to get a transmission that slips when it shifts. And if there's not enough vacuum, it's going to jerk. So this is really important to the shifting of these diesel automatic transmissions. As it sits on top of the injection pump and you have vacuum coming in here and then this line wise off and goes down to the transmission. So as you accelerate, you'll have more vacuum bleeding off here. There is a way to open these up and adjust them. And that's one of the ways you can get your transmission to shift better. If you're having problems with your diesel automatic, you know, not shifting smoothly or shifting with a flare and a little bit of slippage, it may be this valve right here. So some of these are adjustable, very few are repairable. But before you do anything else with trying to get your transmission to shift properly, you need to make sure that your VCV valve is working properly. There's a bunch of other things it could be, and all of those things are included in this manual. This is the longest manual I've written. It's 126 pages, and it's about testing and adjusting the diesel automatic transmission for the 616 and 617 engines. I mean, you, you can't believe how sophisticated some of these systems are on these old diesels in order to get the transmission to shift smoothly. Remember, a diesel does not produce vacuum naturally like a gas engine. So the vacuum has to be produced with a pump and then it has to have this funny valve to get it to act like a gas engine. <laughs> you follow what I'm trying to say? So if you want to test yours, I also have a, a complete VCV kit with hoses. This is something that you can actually put inside your car, run a long hose inside the cabin and drive the car to see how your VCV valve is actually performing under load out on the open road. So these resources are available on my website. I'll just put links in the show more part of the description. If you'd like to see how I test one of these valves, I have a video on my website and I'll just show you how I do this with the engine running. So that might be very helpful. And if you need full information on adjustment and other fine tuning of your transmission, be sure and check out my manual right here.